Welcome to the Preform Line Products Feature Focus video for the Armadillo Stainless Vault Closure System. The Armadillo Stainless Vault Closure System has a long history in the industry and is the ideal solution for the construction of new vaults or for upgrading existing vault closures without disruption of the existing splices. The closure's rugged design and wide range of sizes make it the best choice for the demanding installations of your various vault closures. Prior to placing an order for the Armadillo Stainless Vault Closure, you're going to have to gather some information. You're going to have to measure the tip cables and the feeder cable. You're also going to have to decide what size of closure you want to put for that particular splice application. And lastly, you want to make sure that you have an idea of where you want the cables to enter into the end plates. It'll make for an easier installation. To help guide you through the process, PLP has created the Vault Closure Order Form. The order form can be found within Preform's catalog at preform.com or your PLP representatives can email you a copy of the document. It's that easy. Please remember the details you provide on this form are critical to ensure that the process of ordering your closure goes smoothly. The top section of the form requires information for the following items. Company name. Person to contact if more details are required. Contact phone number, the cable vault location, feeder cable type and tip count, the required arrival date for the product, and the PO number. The middle section of the form contains several graphics to gather details about the end plates, cable measurements, and the closure size required for your application. On the closure graphic, you will need to circle which end of the closure is for the central office or feeder cable end plate and which end is for the tip cables going out to the frame. For our example, we have selected the left side of the closure as the feeder cable end plate and the right side of the closure as the tip cable end plate. If your company has an internal code number, PID number, or tone number, it will need to be listed in the space identified as closure identification. Next, place a mark in the area of the table which defines the diameter and length of closure for your application. For our example, we have selected the 9.5 by 28 inch closure. The next and most important step is measuring your feeder and tip cables. You will need PLP's cable measure tape that is supplied with the lock tape kit and a PLP tip cable measure tape. If these tapes are not readily available, a diameter tape, also known as a pie tape, can be used. But please make a note on the form indicating this was done. To measure the feeder cable, wrap the cable measure tape around the cable diameter and record the measurement indicated where the index line falls. Our feeder cable measures M1. This value is placed in the end plate graphic that is defined for the feeder cable. If your feeder cable contains a lead sheath, please check the appropriate box on the form. Next, measure the tip cables using the tip cable measure tape or a diameter tape. It is a good practice to measure several of the tip cables to confirm you're getting the same measurement. If the measurements vary slightly, Take an average of the values. Our tip cables measure 7. For our application, 18 tip cables will be entering the end plate. This value is placed in the end plate graphic that is defined for the tip cable end plate side of the closure. The bottom section of the vault closure order form displays the typical hole patterns drilled in different end plate sizes based upon the tip and feeder cable quantities. Almost any combination is possible. If you have a special drilling request, contact our PLP customer service group at the number displayed on the form. Once you've got all the information together and filled out the form, then you just fax the form or email it to Preform's customer service representative and let us take care of the rest. Soon you'll receive your completed kit as per your instructions. This will include both the feeder and the tip cable end plates pre-drilled from the factory. You also get the armadillo stainless shell kit, the silicone sealant, and all hardware necessary to complete the application. PLP assembly tips. Mount a 2x6 board across the vault rack to support your splice. Install each end plate to a torque bar. Prepare the feeder cable for the application procedure. Scuff, sea cement, and lock tape. Prepare the feeder end plate. Open, sea cement, Lock tape, trim, sea cement. Install the end plate onto the cable. 
open tip end plate. Apply silicone sealant to the top and bottom surfaces of each section. During the assembly, verify the letters of each end plate section line up. Layer by layer, install the tip cables to be spliced until the assembly is complete. Extension bolts can be used to draw the end plate sections together prior to installing the final bolts. A quick grip style clamp can be used to pull the end plate sections together prior to installing the final bolts. Wipe off excess silicone sealant from the outer surface of the end plate. Install the armadillo stainless shells per the application procedure. That's all there is to ordering the Armadillo Stainless Vault Closure System. We appreciate your business. Thank you.